Are you planning to visit Turkey? And you have two days to explore Istanbul city? Don't worry. This video will help you on how you can cover top five places in Istanbul in 48 hours. So grab your shades, pack your snacks, and let's get this adventure started. So start karte hai first day Hagia Sophia se. Ye place bahut jaldi busy ho jati hai. So make sure you go to that place by 8 or 9 a.m. So that you don't have to stand in a line for one to one and a half hours like we did. Hagia Sophia is the dope UNESCO World Heritage Site that's been an autonomous mosque and now a museum. Hagia Sophia has a beautiful architecture and some amazing history. Now it's um, 12 o'clock, you would be done by Hagia Sophia. So let's get towards Grand Bazaar and Spice Bazaar, which is hardly a 30 minutes walk from there. Don't worry about your lunch as you are going to taste a lot of delicacies in there. You'll find around 3,000 shops offering Turkish delight and various tea options to try. I'm sure you won't get hungry after that. We highly recommend trying as many as possible. And don't forget to select some souvenirs to bring back home for yourself and your loved ones. This place is huge and has everything from spices to jewelry to funky souvenirs. If you want to buy Turkish delights and souvenir at affordable rates, check our previous video. Ye tour khatam hote hote aapko shaam ke paanch baj jayenge. Abhi chalte hai hum Galata Bridge for some of the best views and sunset in Istanbul. So ye bas 15 minutes walk hai from the Grand Bazaar and offers a great location to people watch. And wahan pe aapko locals fishing karte hai bhi dikhenge with their nets and poles. Agar aapko kuch khana hai so, बहुत सारे लोकल खाने के ठेले वाले भी हैं वहाँ पे। So grab a quick bite and enjoy the sunset. अब तक तो आप लोग थक गए होंगे, so we'll end our day here. And I would suggest you go to your hotel and take some rest. But if you still got some energy left, then you can head to Taksim Square or Istiklal Street for some great nightlife with numerous pubs and bars. It's day two and we are again waking up early and heading towards Basilica Sistone. Make sure you reach there before nine o'clock. If you are staying near Sultan Ahmed area, it would be quite easier for you to reach there and would take no more than 10 to 15 minutes walk. When you enter, you'll be amazed by the dim lighting and reflection of the water, which creates a mysterious and atmospheric ambience. The cistern is an important part of Istanbul history and culture and no trip to Istanbul is complete without a visit. You'll be required to pay an entry fee of 300 lira per person but it's completely worth it. The visit shouldn't take more than an hour. So you'll have plenty of time to explore the rest of the Istanbul's famous landmarks and attractions after you are done. Now let's go to my favorite area ki taraf, which is Balad. You can reach there by tram, which would hardly take 30 to 40 minutes for you to get there. Make sure you use Google Maps to guide you and enter Balad as the destination to find the route and train number. <laughs> having... Having... A, having an Istanbul cart will make your life super convenient and cost effective. Balad streets are narrow and winding, with colorful houses and shops lining the way. It's a great place to wander and get lost, discovering hidden gems along the way. There are many Instagram photos spot in this area. Few of them we have listed in the description along with the Google Map link. Make sure you look your best when you visit this place as you would be clicking a lot of pictures. Istanbul aaye aur hamam baad nahi liya to kya kya? End your day by taking a nice relaxing hamam baad and call it a day. Ye the hamare top 5 recommendations to visit Istanbul. Let us know in the comment section which location was your favorite. Our next video will cover everything from budgeting to the best places to visit Turkey in a 2 week trip. Stay tuned and see you soon. Peace.